Hello boys and girls, today we are back with Gran Turismo 7. We're going to do some racing and some car inventory. So here, uh, we'll go through a little bit. Of, so I have three sets, three categories that I kind of category my cars in. We have the uh, fully stock and then uh, midway, halfway modified and then the fully modified and I'm actually going to dig into the halfway modified because the fully modified and stock kind of makes sense I don't really have to tell you about those but the reason why I halfway modify some of these cars is like this one right here in order so if I fully upgrade the engine and the chassis in order to make this car Back to its factory settings, I had to spend roughly around 14 million credit. And the car is not even worth that much. I think this 4GT, the Mark 1, is only worth about 6 million credits. And so what I'll do is just do bolt-ons to where I could have a little bit of power, a little extra power from the stock specs, and I could still just take the the bolt-ons off and have my stock factory for GT40 so it is very hard if you play this game you know how hard it is to get credits it takes a lot of hours and a lot of racing and unless if you're dumping hundreds of dollars into buying credits I really don't see why this game <laughs> I, I would not invest that much money into a video game, I'm sorry. But um, time is money, so if you look at the hours that I have invested, I'm, I got over 250 cars on here. So there's a, a good payoff when you put a little bit of hours into this game. Um, you'll get the car that you want, and the settings and stuff on here are pretty realistic. Um Let's go drive this car. So this is halfway modified. We'll take it for a cruise. Hold on one second. Let's get all of this. All right. So this is one of my favorite cars to drive. It's such an iconic car, especially after Ford versus Ferrari. Now, this is not the one with the the 427 in it, which uh, they swapped out. So this originally came with, I think, a 302 or 351 small block, and it, it didn't really put out that much power. And... Uh, when uh, in the movie when they have the 427 I think it's a FE motor which is all right but uh, the 427 uh, Cobra jet or 429 Cobra jet that came out years later would uh, tore the crap out of the opponents in 1966 um, but just cruising with this car on the game it, it's it's nice because it's a multi-million dollar car in real life, and realistically, hell, I would never own this car. All right, all right, let's go out here and take a look at some of the cars I have. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so let's do a little category here. We'll do manufacturer. Let's start with Chevy. So here we have some of the stock ones. Modified. I, I like getting duplicates because one, it's a different paint job, and two, they're cheap. So... If you buy a bunch of them and you need some quick money, you won't get all your money out. But if you're not good at saving money, 
buy some cars and when you're so close to getting your uh, next car you could sell a bunch of them and get that uh, extra credit so and there is a stock market on here that uh, gives you a investment chart on some of these cars so they'll they'll be uh, going up and down on the chart on value um, I've had I, I had one that was like eight plus percent it was a lot of money compared to like a week prior when it was like negative two percent I mean it it depends on what the car value is but that percentage I think it gave me an extra hundred thousand dollars but you know what I've never seen any of the investment percentage go past that eight percent and with that eight percent the car value still wasn't as worth uh, when I got the car so they kind of give the illusion that you're making some of your money back and you're really not the <laughs> it's kind of pathetic on how they market these as if this currency is actually real and it's ridiculous on what they do to make you play this game in order to achieve something um it's quite pathetic actually so be aware of that like i i'll show you guys my go-to uh race for getting money and it, it's still a 30 minute race you'll get eight hundred and twenty five thousand dollars something like that maybe it's 875 i don't know but um it's it's just ridiculous i'm just going to the main car if i see like toyota i have 25 cars um subarus i got a couple of those i mean uh lamborghinis my ferrari collection i love my ferrari collection i don't have them all but i do got a few and uh some of these cars are just like halfway modified or stock just because of the price of resetting them to the stock specs just is insane um my dodges Let's see did i go forward i think i don't know i got a lot of mock ones and i can't give you a good reason <laughs> i got let's see one two three four five six mock ones yeah uh let's see it's the other one I guess I could drive a other car. You know what? Uh, I want to show you guys how insane this car is. So it's got the 351 engine swap, 1,408 horsepower, just insane power. No traction control, so... Kick it out. Watch the speed that we get up here. Oh. Yeah, that's miles per hour, not kilometers. Ah, I saved it. This car sounds amazing. How many RPMs are we getting to? 7,500? That's not too bad single cam you gotta remember these older single cam motors they did not rev up that high i mean you could get a few like small blocks that could uh get 
get up into the 10,000 RPMs, but I, I'm talking about real life here. And those cars, you got to redo the valves on those things once a year when the, those drag racers, it's crazy. Got to fully rebuild that motor every single year. That gets so pricey. All right, that's enough of this car. What else we got here? Let's, should we do the Ferrari F40? Oh no, it's too much performance points. Um, this... I got the 5.2 Voodoo in this. Wait until you see this thing rip. No traction control. Not a lot of sports suspension on this thing. Oh, yeah. It's like driving on ice. Yeah, I love driving this car. I got the ZZ Top paint job on it. People love, they, they like uh, commenting on this in the chat lobby. Um, if you guys, have you guys ever done the uh, car shows that they have on here? Those are pretty fun. Um, I might actually go to one of those. You guys will see more of the cars that I have. So let's exit here and let's go to the car show that is very common on here. Um, watch, I won't be able to find one. I could always make one. I forget 